It is early, early, early before the sun's up. Look, no, no sun out there. We are headed over to the hospital because it is my 12 week school program. So this is a program that I'm gonna be following through the fitness culture app. Um, I have my macros. I'm gonna go get the body fat tested, uh, kind of go through all the protocol of starting a training program. First and foremost, do this whole big executive physical because I want to make sure we're starting off on the right foot. Keep keep a journal of everything, and I'm so tired right now. I haven't had any anything to eat. Been fasting, and I'm ready to go get this thing over with so I can go eat some food. I'm at the Dixie, uh, the Intermountain Dixie Regional Hospital, the human performance side of things. So they have a bot pod in here. We're gonna go test the body fat, get a good starting baseline. Because if you don't have a starting baseline, you don't know if you're getting better or worse, and you don't know what's realistic. Let's say you wanna be X percent body fat. You can't really decide how long that's gonna take until no, you know what you're at right now. Now, you can have a personal trainer do it with calipers. You can do it any number of ways. The main thing is just Whatever you start with, stay with. So when I come back and test my body fat, I need to do it the exact same place with the same, you know, instrument. Let's go check it out. I am here at the Intermountain Live Well Center here in St. George. I'm um, gonna be taking care of me today. I'm gonna be doing all sorts of fun tests, body fat, VO2 max, get my blood drawn, make sure I'm healthy. And I love this quote. This is what it's all about. Goals are dreams until action takes place. Action's taking place today. You can only know where you're going if you know where you're at right now. So we're gonna jump in, go do this. Hopefully uh, hopefully the body fat thing is, is gentle on me. If I'm over 13, I'm not gonna be happy. Let's go do this. Today I'm gonna be getting the Sports Performance Plus package. I guess that's the kind of the thing when I come in and need all these test done, that's the package I get. That includes body fat and a bod pod. So this is the same principle as the hydrostatic weighing, and the bod pod just uses air displacement to measure your volume. And then with once we get your volume, we get your weight as well. So we find basically your body density, and that helps us to calculate how much body fat you have. Swim cap and spandex getting this done because you don't want to have excess, any excess clothes to throw off, to throw it all off. Yo, do I look like a thug? Do I look like a gangster? Just over here looking like I'm about to start a rap video. Like. Alright. 13.2% body fat at 209. Goal is to be 215. And I'm saying I want to get 9.9% body fat. We'll see if that happens. So when you guys figure out the resting metabolic rate, you don't, it's not like an algorithm or a formula you take from the height and weight. You guys actually have a, a thing. Yeah, so this machine is actually going to measure your gas exchange coming from your body. Oh. Um, and so it's, it's not dependent on age, height, weight, anything, gender. It's, it's a strict measurement of your metabolism really? at this point in time. That's awesome. For those of you guys wondering, resting metabolic rate again. How much, how much, pretty much it'll tell me how much, how many calories I need in a day just to live, just to function. And then from there you can kind of see how much you're exercising and then you really get a total of how much you should be eating to then gain or lose weight. And then this test takes about 10 minutes, so you just be hanging out here for 10 minutes. Yes. Yeah, so your resting energy expenditure came out at 24. Oh, so 24, 2400 pretty much. Yeah. Okay. What's fun now that Steve is. Okay. Woo. Oh, that's this. Seven and a half. Nineteen and a half. We'll run through these real quick. Kids could always touch their hand. I was like, 
pull as high as you can. Any pain there? No. Okay, other side. Okay. Oh, behind the neck press gives you shoulder impingements. Usually it only shows you that you have. I'm a big fan of like, healthy shoulders should be able to move all the way down and all the way up. We've done the resting metabolic rate. And we've done some blood work, which means I can now eat. Should have probably brought a protein shake. I didn't realize this whole thing was gonna take about four hours. Not super thrilled with my body fat percentage. The weight I'm at right now, cut my body fat almost in half. And that sounds like a lot, but going from 13 to eight, I mean, I guess that's only 5%. I feel leaner than 13%. Maybe that's just my imagination playing tricks on me. Be 10% body fat and, uh, in eight weeks or 12 weeks. Um, 10% and 215 pounds. And from there, we'll decide, do I want to compete? Do I want to shred? Do I want to get stronger? What do I want to do after that? And now that I know my resting metabolic rate, I should be able to kind of calculate how much I'm, I'm, I'm burning during my workouts and eat accordingly, which is something I don't do well enough and will be a video that we make here. Um, probably next time will be what I eat in a day on this program. So we just got back from Doing all those different tests, the blood work, the body fat, the VO2 max, which I got a 51 on, and we're making all sorts of gains. My life has been kind of crazy, but I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Now, one of the things I'm most excited about is the decorating. This is, we got the team from Kristen Brooksby Design here. Say hey to Kayla. Hello. Say hey to Kristen. Hello. You guys are, that, that looks like a beautiful rug. We got artwork coming. We got new sofas and couches. Nate, you ready to move these with me? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You ready to? Yeah, yeah, we got this. You look like you need to work out, so we need to go work out. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna do like a full-fledged house tour once it all gets in and once the backyard gets done, like an unveiling of Casa de Cook. But until then, you're just gonna have to get sneak pics. I don't even wanna show you guys my house because I want it to be a, a, a surprise. Got so much in store for you guys on this 12 week. Not just obviously we wanna transform. I wanna have a, a, a really in-depth look at how I'm planning on gaining lean body mass. The reason I think I'm able to do this, because I used to be 220 pounds at 10% body fat. You know, when I was really training hard, when my diet was on point, um, I haven't been this light, 209 pounds. I haven't been this light since my freshman year in college. And then I got all the way up to 240, played college football. So a good place for me. I feel like 215, um, really 8% body fat, I'd be happy with. So that's where we're, that's where we're aiming for, whether we get that done in 12 weeks or not. Maybe training with Jake um, and, and taking this super serious, we might. So just a lot of cool things. Got, you know, Kristen Brooksby Design taking care of me in my backyards, getting, getting done, exciting things in life, and I want you guys to be a big part of it. So if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe right now, um, and, and we're gonna do this, you know, I'm gonna be jumping on here and answering questions. You guys are gonna be able to get free, a free week in the Swole program through all this and just see how I'm able to do this. So what I'm gonna do right now is just kind of show you where I'm starting at, like how I look. I know we kind of, you saw me with my shirt off at the hospital, but how I look right now, um, no, no filters, no edits, just me standing in front of the camera, kind of giving you a physique update. Is that weird? Nah, we're just broing out. Let's just bro out. So, 
You know, we, we talked about this earlier today. You can't know where you're going until you know where you're at right now. So sitting in front of you guys today, again, I don't want to act like, you know, I have to live life at single digit body fat to be happy with things. I would like to though. So this standing in front of you guys isn't the easiest thing for me to do being light, being skinny and chubby. We call that scubby, skinny chubby. So you can see, you know, have some definition, but I'm not, and I'm not super big right now. Um, arms seem like they always stay fairly big. My chest and back shrink down a lot. And then I have super high lat line. So I've always tried to create more, you know, if I hit a front lat shot, um, super high lat lines, they don't, you know, Franco Colombo and Arnold, they inserted like into their waist. Being a tall guy, being 6'1", that's hard to do. So really want to try to bring up my back and really want to try to bring up my chest on this program. Creating some wider shoulders would never hurt either, but um, from the back, you can see where I'm lean and all, or where, how, how soft I guess I am. And we'll be doing constant kind of weekly check-ins with this program. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm stoked. This is me, hey. Got my shorts hiked up, but it'll be a good starting place to, to then look back in 12 weeks and say, hey, I made solid progression with this. I made solid progress. And there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be part of this. So I want you guys to join in on this. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, if you're w wondering how I'm doing this all, you know, watch these videos. We're gonna lay it out. Um, next video, we're gonna go over pretty much what I, what I eat in a day. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, hit that button. And let's, uh, let's start our lean bulking series. Right, huh? Some flexing, even though I'm not exactly in flexing shape. So I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.